Good morning. Welcome to Bible study. We are in the season of Lent, a time in the church year we use to get ready for Easter. There are many things that people do during Lent to spend time with God and to try to be more like Jesus. One of those things is praying. On Wednesday nights in Agape Kids, we are learning the examine prayer. On Sunday mornings in Bible study, I'm going to introduce you to different types of prayers. Today's prayer works best after we've heard our story, so we'll do it at the end of our time together. So far this year, we have been reading stories from the life of Jesus, beginning when he was born and a little baby until he was an adult. We've read about the things Jesus taught, people Jesus spent time with, people Jesus cared for and helped. Beginning today, we're going to read stories from Jesus's final week. These are the stories that make up what we call Holy Week. They begin with Palm Sunday, end with Easter, and include things that happened between. Let's get ready to hear this week's story. After healing Bartimaeus, Jesus continued on from Jericho and went toward Jerusalem. He was going there to celebrate the feast of the Passover. Jesus and his friends were walking to Jerusalem. He sent two of his friends ahead to get a donkey. He told them if someone asked why they were taking it, they should say that Jesus needed it and would send it back. The friends got the donkey just as Jesus had said. Its owner allowed them to take it. Jesus' friends brought the donkey to Jesus. They put their coats on the donkey, and Jesus sat on their coats. Many people made a path for Jesus on the road. They spread their coats on the road. Some people cut leafy branches and put those on the road as well. Everyone was shouting, Hosanna, praise God. Blessed is the one who comes in God's name. Blessed is the kingdom of God. Praise God in heaven. Jesus and his friends went into Jerusalem, and they went to the temple. I wonder, I wonder why Jesus wanted to ride a colt or a donkey into Jerusalem. I wonder how long it took the disciples to find one. I wonder how Jesus felt when the people welcomed him into Jerusalem. I wonder why people made a path of coats and branches for Jesus. I wonder what the cult was thinking. I wonder where the disciples were as Jesus rode through the crowd that day. I wonder what the people meant when they said, blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. I wonder where you would have been if you would have been in the crowd that day. I wonder what you liked best about this story. Let's end our time together with a prayer of praise. To praise is to celebrate or glorify. We'll share words of praise to God, celebrating Jesus and what he has done. This prayer will be about the story we learned today. I'll begin our prayer by saying something, and when I point to you, I want you to say, Hosanna, like the people in the crowd. Let's practice. Hosanna. Now, every time I point to you, I want you to say it again. Let's begin our prayer. 
Jesus is coming. Hosanna, shout and sing for joy. Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, amen. Prayers of praise are wonderful. They're a way to celebrate God and what God has done. Today, we used the word Hosanna, but you can use any words that you would like when you want to praise God. In your prayer, you may want to say, God is great. You may want to say, I love Jesus. I want you to think about how you would praise God in prayer. I want you to look for opportunities this week to say a prayer of praise for who God is or something God has done. Next week, we'll gather again and we'll learn a different type of prayer. What's wonderful about prayer is it gives us the chance to share anything we're thinking and feeling with God. As we pray, we can share our praise. But we can also share when we're sad, when we're sorry, when we're mad, when we have a question we need an answer to. We'll learn all sorts of different ways to say these prayers as we gather for Bible study during Lent. We'll also continue reading and hearing the stories from Holy Week. I hope you'll come back and join us again next week.